Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Hyundai Kona can take you to some really cool places like biking, camping, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. We're gonna start by prepping the underbody of our vehicle for our hitch. Now on our driver's side, underneath our bumper beam, we have this wiring harness that's gonna be in the way. So we're gonna relocate it to above our bumper beam so it's not sandwiched by our hitch. To disconnect it from our bumper beam, we're gonna slide it towards the outside of our vehicle. And that will allow us to make it loose. Now we're going to unattach it by pushing down on this tab. Now we're gonna bring it above our bumper beam and then we're gonna connect it on top. Now on the passenger side, we're gonna remove this underbody panel. It's held in by two push pins and one plastic nut. Now we're gonna remove those two push pins using a flathead screwdriver. And we'll remove the plastic nut using a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll remove that panel and we'll be reinstalling it later. Now on the bottom of both of the frame rails, we're gonna remove these rubber plugs So now we're ready to bring our hardware into place. We're gonna use a fish wire to bring our bolts into position. We're gonna be bringing them into these two holes on each side of the frame rail. Our provided hardware gives us two bolts for each side with a spacer. We're gonna bring it in using a fish wire through that access hole where we removed our rubber plug. Let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So we're gonna start with our rear attachment point and we're gonna take our fish wire, we're gonna push it through until it comes out of our access hole. Now we're gonna take our bolt and spacer and we're going to attach it to our fish wire. Now we're gonna push our spacer in first and then our bolt and then we'll pull it through our attachment point. And then we'll repeat on our other attachment point. and we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now, if you have an all-wheel drive Kona, it does help to lower the exhaust just a little bit to be able to bring our hitch into place. Ours isn't an all-wheel drive, so let's go get our hitch. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We'll be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands, as this hitch can be kind of heavy. Now, before we bring our hitch all the way up, we're gonna need to take our bolts and we're gonna lightly push it back into the frame with the fish wire still attached. And then we're gonna take the end of our fish wires and we're gonna run it through the attachment points on our hitch. And we'll do that on both sides. With our hitch in place, we're gonna remove our fish wires on all of our bolts, being careful not to push them back into the frame. And we're going to install the provided flange nuts. And we'll do that on both sides. With all of our hardware into place, we're going to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna use an 11 16 socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna reinstall our underbody panel on our passenger side. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is three inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.